There are those who would say, oh, Lord, heal me. And they expect God to completely take away a disease or take away something. And they don't stop to think that maybe, maybe it is not God's will that you do this. But God can give you the strength to work in spite of that problem, in spite of that disease, in spite of that limitation. God can give you the grace and the strength to keep on going. There's a little island that we talked about, the island of Tuvalu, that is sinking into the ocean. And they have that overwhelming feeling that nothing can be done. They have that sinking feeling. Friends, I know what it's like to feel like you're sinking. But I also know what it's like to depend on the Lord God every morning and say, oh, Lord, I can't do this on my own strength. And if it's, got, it's going to be done, it's got to be done by you. I thank God for the layperson in my church that made me aware of this. For I never thought of it before. I never thought that, 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 that God was answering my prayer in any way. And yet now I know that God is not only answering that prayer, He's answering it in a way that, that I never dreamed of. That no one else ever dreamed about. My wife, my children. And I say, Lord, whatever the future holds is in your hands. Here I am. Now, friends, I don't hold myself up as being a perfect example. There's 